Hello, it's me, Edwin Reviews. So today I got a Volpen SP06. I had this electric scooter ever since I had it for Christmas and I currently have 250 miles on this electric scooter. This electric scooter is made by Volpen and this scooter is meant for commuters in the city. This can go about 90 miles per hour and it range to 12 to 70 miles. The electric scooter is still amazing under $300 but there's still a lot of pros and cons about the scooter. There's a lot of cons about this electric scooter but what you expect for $300 is not gonna be amazing. Even though it's still extremely fun to ride on the electric scooter. Now let's ride it. Now during the ride I'm going to talk about pros and cons about this electric scooter. So first off, I fully charged the electric scooter in the beginning of the video. Now here's the pro about this electric scooter. It's under $300 on Amazon. There's a $80 coupon. The scooter costs about $290 after the coupon, even though the original price is $370. Even though the electric scooter is meant for commuters, it's still very fun to ride with. It can be meant for teenagers or adults. And yet, the electric scooter can go up to 17 miles on a single charge. And the best thing is you got a regen braking. When I tested out the electric scooter, the regenerating power can go up to 350 watts back into the battery. And the motor can push up to 700 watts of peak power, I believe, and the though it's rated for 350 watts. Now to the cons of this electric scooter. There is not a single suspension on the electric scooter and the wheels are made of pure rubber no inflated air tire. Another con is even though the motor is peaked 650 watts it still struggles on a small uphill. You see my electric scooter is struggling 25. to go Let's up go. this 5 degrees of incline about 11 miles per hour. You would see it's not a very steep hill and the scooter still struggles with that. Another con after riding 250 miles is the battery, it's starting to degrade and now it can push out maximum of 12 miles on a single charge instead of 17 when it's brand new. The manufacturer claims the electric scooter can go up to 19 miles per hour even though the real speed is 17 according to my GPS. Then in this clip you would see there's a lot of gravel in the road so you'd see my electric scooter is so bumpy. Another con with the electric scooter is the light that comes with it. Yes, it's still pretty bright enough in the nighttime, but you don't really see anything. But if you look closely, you would see the light. It's not super white. It's extremely small and tiny. Well, it's the extremely cheap scooter and it's get the job done. Either you can use the electric scooter just to have fun or just use it for basic needs of transportation. Well, somebody leave the gate open with the trash bin. But anyway, after riding it, my electric scooter claims it still got 60% of battery, but when I ride it until it get down to 20%, it's randomly shut off because of the battery degrading so fast. So constantly, I always had to check the scooter voltage on the app. So the stand lock that holds the handlebar whenever I ride, it's still extremely reliable and haven't had any problems with me. Whenever I try to shake it, it's super stiff and it's extremely portable when I fold up the electric scooter, it's about 20 pounds. Well, what do you guys think? Do you think it's worth it or not?